rotation coming over from Made in Thailand. Therefore, Team Secret with their aggression looking to push forwards here. It is one of Fly. Ooh. Very, very aggressive here. One of Fly able to find two heads with his head and hunter. And that instantly opens things up the site for Team Secret. That's actually all you need. As long as you bring it down to a three versus three, it becomes winnable. Sure, the odds aren't in your favor because that spike is down, but it becomes much easier. And for Made in Thailand as well, having all the utility available for the breach is going to make this retake seem uh, fairly palatable, to be honest. It's going to get a bit interesting here. Seeing how this retake commences with the Neon as well with the Breach. There is a flash available, but the Breach will quickly fall, and it's all down to Beta all by himself. What can you do? Oh, Ooh. what a turnaround. 90 degree turn. Take here, but only two angles of attack are going to be approached, and primarily it's going to be from the Ooh. heavens, right? Perfect paranoia, perfect follow-up with a fault line, but can do is concuss as he tries to dash in onto the site. The Spencer quick to shut him down, and Dubstep is looking to join in on the fray, allowing nothing for Myth here. Team Secret look to be on top and look to deny every sort of space accountability here for Myth. And Lone Fields will try and fill in the gap that has been created with the death of his teammates and actually get to that site and win their bonus. Would you say that Team Secret's lineup, um, considering has a lot of versatility on uh, on post parts, right? Can they play both aggressively, both uh, both kind of backwards as well? I mean, hey, on the topic of aggression, look at that from Kadoom. Yeah, I reckon exactly that's an... Oh, oh my oh, God, Kadoom! He is hungry for some kills, and I tell you what, Myth, they are happy to oblige him. They set him up, they line him up to take one at a time, and it seems to see if Jesse gets that opening and it falls down to the 2v3 retake, because the Killjoy still has the Swarm Grenades standing. available. It's looking Spike clean by Made in Thailand. 30 seconds left. Looking clean indeed. Dispenser on a one-man journey. They're going to move forwards. Ah, oh, there you go. That's one. At least one for the shock to the sideline. Oh, that's ahead. Didn't quite deliver, though. Rolling Thunder will be delivered from the attackers. Team Secret will want to hold them back from the main entry of the site. Kungarid from above also gets shut down. This is looking strong by Made in Thailand. Unless Kadoom and Beta can do something about it. Can they do? Oh, what a shot! Kadoom will want to go in for more. Oh, but it's better to do it! Draw oh. in from the skies! It's Kadoom with the shutdown! Okay. This means that there's a good potential for them Ooh. to turn this even forwards, especially if they're able to gain any more weapons out of that trade. They have definitely got on the space. If you look, the A site is completely open. The fight in mid goes in favor of Kungarid, which means it stabilizes the defense for just a little bit longer. Still, traders, trades do commence. Remember, this round started with pistols with Team Secret, and now they have a solid chance of unlocking this round for them. Made in Thailand, the rolling thunder will be utilized very, very early, and it only catches one out of the players, which means that long position can be taken in consideration when it comes to denying this defuse. Already, Kangara has to fall. Very aggressive there from Beta, but it stops it to get it done. Secret, it's a change. It's going to be the first hit to see, and for Beta, his Jubilee Ooh. game and a chance to be tested. That is such a fast push. The fault line is perfect, but the paranoia is even better. Flat, whoa, it's going to be a TP away, but Kangara is left behind. Now he's paranoid, and there's an aftershock right after him. That could be his downfall. Borkum is the one to find the entry, but look how quickly Maiden Thailand have rotated. All three players are here, and they're able to line shots up against Team C. This. Who does this? Kangara! Just too far out of his depth there without any support ends up falling and that means that team secret have got a massive advantage here again with pistols again with a blaze paying dividends for con garrett if he made that work the round's over but the fact he falls down means Team Secret really put this back into a consideration. They're pushing from Garage this time around. They're trying to line things up here, but it's a simple trade. And when you have the numbers here, Team Secret seem to come out on top. Recon into the dark cover, trying to spare the Colossus. Updraft and Blades, but no. Touched once again, but it's just so many players. Ooh. There is a w I mean, I guess, yeah, Maiden Tyler made a couple of missteps, but you know, they were able to punish very, very nicely. Good little dash in. Kungara able to trade it back, not too bad, having a Spectre in hand, but he's being overwhelmed by so many players, so much utility, there's so much being thrown at them. Kadoom, and it's a final ditch effort, tries to enter the site, but he's all by himself, unassisted. We've seen so far. Aldron used to clear out long, but the rest of them use the underground passage to get forwards. Dubstep, updraft as well onto the box together with a cloud burst. Kadoom is unspotted Ooh. and runs away with two before he loses his own life. Oh, that was ever. And now Team Secret have slowed things down a bit. Stepped, okay. Step back a notch. 
I love it. I was going to say, this is the first operator we're actually seeing invested from Myth as well. The fact they're able to get that kill and then rotate it to the correct position is oh, just what perfect. A what a read. And they haven't even gained space yet. Hold oh. his ground, no but run, brave. Run. Basically, Vash able to keep things going here. Hunter Shuri also opening things up as Borka make it very winnable, even though he wasn't quite able to convert them. Let's see what you can do here. First contender. Can't oh, account for it. He's not holding back for it, and now the site's taken over. We're looking at a 5v5 retake. Look at the abilities available for Maiden Thailand, though. I think they don't care that it's a retake. They've got so much to work with now. The one thing that matters is how can you utilize it. Well, Wits is definitely waiting for that aftershot to Ooh. use as soon as the lockdown is placed, but Stubbs set with a double kill straight out of nowhere. No idea where that came from as well. Kangared looking to deal with a back line. It seems it's just all oh, too Dubstep. much. Dubstep is throwing everything right now for his team. Low on health, but it doesn't seem to phase him. Alone Fields will try and hold on for just a little more. The aftershock is in place, but Wits is there to stop him. Six made in Thailand now on the attacking. Kadu, look, to push very far forward. Concussion in within the smoke, and it's the pistol shot through it to find a headshot. Dispenser out of this round. And yeah, the rotations are very, very slow from Team Secret. The spike is being planted. Borkum is all by himself. No idea how that just happened. Bit of miscommunication, perhaps. Players left behind trying to stop these rotations. Dubset looking to push forwards as JC Vash as well gets one of his own. But it's Dubset is finding it so hard to push, looking to get that headshot, but it's just not connecting. It's just down to wits now. Up against the two of Maiden Thailand. Doesn't quite know there's one in the corner, but finds another, but nevertheless. Beta, Ooh. all that remains. Consider as well, Team Secret are doing a lot of thinking on the fly here, right? This is a this is a lineup from Myth they weren't expecting and could have, couldn't Ooh. really have anticipated. And uh, they're finding it really tough. A lot of damage on the Myth side earlier on. And the weapons oh of Team God. Secret completely shut down. What is this? This is ruthless aggression, Pavlos. And it's kills from all over the map as well. They're just running in. It's going to have to be raw firepower ability. With the flank of the chamber in the omen as well, this is seriously going to mitigate the effectiveness of, of the operator. That just needs an angle to hold, and myths just aren't going to provide it. They're going to attack from all angles and make this ever so soft, tough for Team Secret. Without a controller, this is near impossible. Rolling Thunder comes in as soon as a spike has been touched, denying it for just a little longer, and it's straight out into the open. And now, be they'll just make their appearance. Beta just comes in from the sideline. They try and get on that spike, but all try is all they can. A lot of kills do go to Secret side, but for the flank to come from Jesse Vash, but it may not matter, frankly, because Myth are just so well equipped, they're so well prepared for this. <laughs> Kadoom's just going wild, he's on a rampage, Pavlos. Keep in mind, he's alone on site, he doesn't have any support, doesn't he, need it, he's just holding it all by himself. J J JC Vash is scared to get onto the <laughs> flank, it's taking him forever. Okay, finally, Kadoom falls. Okay, finally, JC Vash has waited long enough to get one, but better quickly turns around as soon as Dubset tries to get on site. I'll, I'll have an upset today, why not? Everyone loves an upset, don't they? And right now, for Kadoom, he's looking to deliver. Overdrive enabled as well, doesn't check the right hand side in time, and it seems to be favorably traded for Mythia. That's all you need. Just Although, Wits does find one within the midst of that madness. It's the C angle completely taken over by Made in Thailand. Wow, I think we're all in awe. <laughs> we're all in awe of what we've just seen. Let's see going on to oh. ascent. Can we see the continuation of chaos though? Uh, yeah, well, continuation of chaos is exactly what we'll be seeing. And Kadoom 